Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show land use land cover mapping using ISO cluster unsupervised classification technique. Before starting, I will show one thing. Here ISO cluster unsupervised classification literature. You should read carefully about this because not only land use land cover map preparation, you can use this ISO cluster unsupervised classification in other cases. Like here one paper, correlation analysis of soil nutrient and prediction model through ISO cluster unsupervised classification with multispectral data published from Spinger in 2022. So you can use this technique in other way also. So you should go through the standard literature. So here, last day I have shown how to download Sentinel-2 images. It is available after 2015. So from 2015 we can download Sentinel-2 images. Now here Sentinel-2, here granule here IMG data then R10 meter so we will use here 10 meter resolution data that's in band 2, 3, 4 and 8 band 2 blue, green, red and near infrared image ok just add it it will create pyramid so here here are image so now I will mosaic it before doing any tasks, we have to mosaic. So we can easily do it using here Windows and Image Analysis tab. Click over there. Just select all, first one and last one. Now here the composite band. Just click on that composite band. Okay, this one our composite band here. So we can easily change it near infrared then red band then green band so this is our image here Bakura ok so I will clip this area for showing this demonstration right we can easily do it right click here then go to data and export data ok just click on extend data frame this extension data frame this extension I want to clip here I'll create one tab LOLC mapping so just select this folder and add it composite everything is ok just click it. save button yes export will add no data pixel yes no issue You can also delete this node at a pixel to blank. Yes, add it. Now see, zoom to layer, uncheck this. Now it is our final map. So here again, this multispectral image we can easily change. We have to change from here. This is our near infrared band. Then red band, it is okay. Then finally green band. So this is our FCC image. Now we can do it ISO cluster classification, unsupervised classification. So we can do it in a many way like you can add it here, image classification tab here and also we can find this tool in special analysis tool here then multivariate statistics. See this one multivariate statistics. Here we can find the same ISO cluster unsupervised classification. So here the classification technique we can select from here ISO cluster unsupervised classification just click over there others technique also available so ISO ISO mean iterative self organization so iterative self iterative mean what iterative mean process of repetition so here our input raster this one it is all already added this is number of classes or number of cluster we can create number of cluster to 255 ok so minimum 2 and maximum according to our bid so it is 8 bit image so 255 classes we, we can generate now see here I want to classify into 6 class so now this is output raster so we can change it suppose I want to save it here LOLC LOLC ISO 
and our extension tiff so now maximum class size so maximum class size 20 that's mean iterative type and output sample interval at least 10 and output single cell file it is optional no need now one important thing if we increase this number of classes then number of iterative also increase so it will take more time okay so just click over there it's working it will take time during this time i'll show another thing here advances in geographical research offer one important course land use land cover classification and its prediction here llc mapping conventional and machine learning approaches and its prediction so it is also done so let me introduce this course it's a very important course i think you may wish to join land use land cover mapping using conventional and machine learning approaches and then its prediction by cellular automata markov chain model so they shows from beginning that's my introduction how to select study area data processing acquisition preparation land use land cover map not only the traditional approach also machine learning approach the recording change detection accuracy assessment thematic layer preparation and future prediction future llc map with c markov model uh, also model validation okay and final preparation for publication so you can prepare one paper using this technique and most important thing you can directly contact with course instructor you can chat with course instructor if you face any problem then you can immediately ask to course instructor so now here already is done we have prepared this land use land cover map now we have to identify most important thing we have to identify just uncheck it see this is a river you know this is a river okay so this color mean this color here this black color mean deep water so this is water this is water now see here which color this one, this color okay if we change this color then it will be better for our symbology unique value so we'll use here gray color then we categorize okay now see we have to identify it, this one if we take here identity tool just click over there so it's a pixel value one that's in pixel value one water body let's change this color from here here blue color for water body yes it is water body now see this this color this is pixel value six that's when this one this is sandbar okay or we can say barren land so for sandbar i will give this color so we have identified sandbar or barren land and water body let's check it other features like we can easily pan this tool here pan tool this is called pan tool we can pan in area suppose this area this area let's check it here see this this area this one this is a build up area you can easily recognize this this is a build up area here the water body and this is a build up area so see this is a build up area right it's okay it's a water body and this is a build up area so now we can easily use here identity tool just click over there and it's a pixel value 3 so pixel value 3 is build up area okay let's change the color for build up area i'll use red color okay all all color is selected now now we have to identify other features like see this one this one pixel value 2 so let's check it pixel value 2 okay this one if we see here the mixed red color shows vegetation okay we have to identify here agriculture land first we can easily identify this agriculture land barren land vegetation area definitely this is a vegetation right this is a vegetation area that this red color vegetation area if we check here 
this color vegetation area if you click over there it's a pixel value 5 so pixel value 5 is a vegetation so we will change color vegetation for green color okay uh, now check others almost ready we have to identify other features like this yeah this one see these features actually this is a wasteland we can easily identify here from here this is a wasteland let's check it the color yeah pixel value 2 so pixel value 2 is a wasteland so I'll give color like for wasteland this color is okay I think yeah now check others we need to identify 4 so if we change this four color four, sometimes we have to identify associate with them, associate area. Suppose this is associate with this associate with this area. See, maybe it is a agricultural land. Okay, or uncheck this this area. Let's check it. Yeah. This is a agriculture area. I click over there. This is a pixel value 4. So we can easily change it to agriculture area. I will give it for agriculture area yellow. So we have prepared this map. Yeah. Build up area. It's a town. This is a build up area. Okay. Then vegetation area. Agriculture land. Barrel land. So now final tux, we have to prepare our layout map. We can use zoom to layers tool here. Uh, now we can increase this map size by clicking this. We can pan this map like this way. Okay. So now go to insert button and here legend. Remove it. Next, next. The unsupervised classification method. ISO unsupervised classification method. If you if your study area is small or if you if you have not much time then you can use this classification technique. Right? So it's a legend as an item we can change this layout style like this layer name only and we can increase font size to fourteen for visibility right we can change from here the name like one one mean water body water body then two then this one three three mean build up area then this agriculture land then this is a variation cover. Then this is a barren land. And this is a waste land. Waste land. Apply and OK. We can also speed any one class from this sometimes we need to extract this water body we can easily extract this water body from here so I'll change this name LOLC ISO cluster this is a very popular method available in ArcMap ISO cluster method So now we can add here north arrow like this. Then here insert, then scale. You can choose from here. You can also customize all the scale, this legend. Okay, 
like if we right click here then we can customize it from scale unit here kilometer after level we can change it to below center like this we can also increase size okay uh, final text we have to add here properties like we have to add here grid so just click on grid new grid then next then next 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 finish apply let's check it okay go to again properties here 30 second so we can change it to one degree one degree no i think it's not work 30 minute into 30 minute let's check it apply and okay and apply it is work no so we have to re reduce now 30 minute instead of 30 minute 15 minute 15 minute apply yeah it is okay 15 minute to 15 minute is okay for me for uh, y axis but for x axis it should be less 10 minute no it is not work so five minute now it is okay so go to properties again we can change line do not show line okay then level that's when this orientation we can change this vertical orientation level left right and we can change the size 12 we can change to 14 apply and okay apply and okay so our map is ready we can easily export it file here export map just export the folder here my youtube channel and lolc map lolc Sibakura. so our lolc map ready within 10 minutes thank you for watching this tutorial if you want to learn more then you should join this paid workshop it's a very good workshop okay thank you again